on this so called disease diabetes which in fact is not a disease at all reminds me of a nice book if any one of you want to read if you have the habit of reading books there's a beautiful book called who has seen blood sugar you understand that's the title of the book what's the title of the book who has seen blood sugar do you know who has written that professor of diabetology in the college of physicians and surgeons in philadelphia and editor of the most prestigious annals of internal medicine for as long as 30 years and a great thinker in america an exception to the usual thinkers his name is frank davidoff f r a n k davidoff d a v i d o f f this is published by the college of physicians and surgeons in philadelphia and a very interesting book he asks a question for 40 years i have been treating diabetes patients i am called a diabetic specialist i have seen human beings i have seen patients i have seen blood i have seen sugar separately but i am yet to see blood sugar but all my life i have been struggling to keep that very interesting thing called blood sugar under control in my patients with all the effort on my part god only knows how many of them i have sent prematurely to meet their maker this is a very very pertinent statement coming from a man who has had 40 years of experience of teaching i mean treating patients and teaching medical students as a professor in a very prestigious medical school in the united states of america you would be surprised the blood sugar part of the diabetes syndrome is probably the least important part of the diabetic syndrome then we teach about various endocrine glands and all kinds of biochemistry is there you know this goes up that comes down etc etc we think human body is a machine like a motor car and let us say pancreas is like the carburetor of the motor car and something is wrong with that and we are now trying to replace the pancreas probably with a new pancreas or transplant the pancreas with a new pancreas and we think the problem is solved far from it pancreas is only an incidental part of the whole process some people say okay i will you know endocrinologist must have told you it's not the bank okay pancreas growth hormone liver spleen head brain everything they do even then diabetes is not controlled did you know that very interesting you get me a beautifully controlled diabetic beautifully controlled means blood sugar normal i will show you how badly his whole human system is upset we have gone deep into that human body is not a machine it cannot be equated to a machine and it does not run on bioelectricity did you understand that human body is run by the human consciousness this, this is a very important thing and what is human consciousness where is it situated somebody said where is the mind and the usual answer in the conventional positive science is never mind and somebody says what is matter no matter but if you go into quantum physics you realize that there is so much happening down there below there where beyond the atom and so the human mind or the human consciousness is present in every single human cell and don't know how many cells are there in the human body any any takers 10 to the power 14 human cells that is 100000 billion cells are there and millions and billions of them die every day and they are replaced by new cells but the man is not the same one who he was or a woman is not the same one who she was three months ago she is a new woman including the bone is new remember that every cell changes but what does not change is the consciousness and if you can appeal to the consciousness somehow or other probably you will be able to appeal to the whole human body 